Any caliber runs require some type of processing before or after the caliber run. This example shows how to use caliber interactive internal triggers to set up netlist pre-processing for a caliber LVS run. In particular, you might want to add a sub-circuit definition to the netlist. Another possible pre-processing task might be creating an H-cell file for an LBS run, or anything that you can do in a shell process or skill procedure. Select Setup, Preferences, then the Triggers tab and the Pre-Execution tab to define the internal trigger. Click the Add Trigger button, then type in the command line call for the procedure. In this example, the procedure is called Prepare Netlist and it takes an argument of the source netlist name. Percent %s is a trigger parameter that is replaced by the source netlist at runtime. Other trigger parameters are listed in the dialog box. Click in the Use column to select the trigger. Multiple triggers are allowed. Just click the Add Trigger button again to add a new line. If you are running with Cadence Virtuoso, you can execute skill procedures by selecting a type of layout or schematic. Then type in the call for your skill procedure. You can change the order of execution by dragging and dropping the lines for the trigger parameter. Click OK and then run Caliber Interactive. The transcript shows that both triggers are run and you can see output from the skill procedure in the cadence log. Save your run set so that your trigger definitions are saved into the run set for the next time you run Caliber. I hope this helps and thank you for watching.